Yeah, so I'm playing uh, on May 19th. I'm playing at 7.25, just before Christine and the Queens at the C6 Fest. Um, and I'm excited. Oi, gente, sejam muito bem-vindos a mais um Universo Alfa. Meu nome é Stephanie Cid e eu tô aqui do lado com a cantora Arlo Parks. Arlo, thank you so much for being here with us. Yeah, thanks for having me. I appreciate it. So, I want to start to... Um, so, uh, first of all, I want to ask you, you are going to sing at the Sixth Fest uh, this week. How are you feeling to play for the Brazilian audience? Are you excited? Yeah, I'm super excited. I've never been to Brazil before. This is my first time in Latin America in general. Um, and I've heard from a lot of my friends that, you know, Brazil has the most kind of passionate and energetic fans. Um, so I can't wait to play for the first time. Yes, the Brazilian audience is very passionate, very, <laughs> very excited in all, in all the concerts. So mm -hmm. I think you're going to enjoy a lot. And how are you feeling about Brazil? Do you like the country? What are you? What are your thoughts? Yeah, I've been enjoying it a lot. Um, my grandfather is like half Brazilian, um, so you know it was nice to kind of come back and visit my ancestry a bit. Um, but yeah, I've just been wandering around, eating good food, going to markets, talking to people, taking pictures. It's been really nice. And what did you prepare for the show in terms of repertoire? What songs can't be left out? Hmm. Um, Hope. I'm going to play Hope. I'm going to play some of the new material. I'm going to play Pegasus, which is a song I just put out with Phoebe. Um, I'm going to make sure there's a good balance of kind of the new, the new songs and the old songs and kind of giving people a sense of nostalgia, but also what's to come. Mm -hmm. And I was going to ask you about that. How was your new single? How was um, your new single with Phoebe Bridgers? How was mm -hmm. the preparation for the single? Did you guys meet? How was this encounter? Yeah, so we met uh, a few years ago and it was probably in 2020 in like spring or summer and we've sung together quite a lot and I feel like there's magic that comes when our voices come together and I've never had a feature on my music before so it was nice to kind of bring a friend on for sure. And what would you say were the inspirations for this new album that you released recently? Yeah, I mean, there are so many, everything from Aphex Twin to Tribe Called Quest to Britney Spears to like DJ Shadow, really everything. I feel like with this record, I had no boundaries. I was just kind of being completely adventurous. And you, I, I saw an interview of you talking that you were feeling a little free, creative to, mm -hmm. to, to write your new songs. You, mm -hmm. Do you feel more free now to, to write a new album? More free, more confident. You know, I've grown up a little bit and I've had the time to actually really sit and experiment and learn new things. So, yeah, feeling very free. And now you released your new album. What are the plans for the future? Now you're going to go on tour. What, do you, what are your plans next? Yeah, I'm going to be touring, sharing the music with, with people around the world, which is lovely. Um, then just spend more time writing, maybe doing some songwriting, maybe working on a novel or a different kind of um, literature and yeah just creating creating and, and sharing the work and just to finish our interview i would like you to invite people who are watching us to go see the festival when are you playing just yeah. basic information yeah so i'm playing uh, on may 19th i'm playing at 7:25, just before christine and the queens at the c6 fest um and i'm excited yeah Thank you so much for being here with us. Thank you. I appreciate it. Watching you trying to push away. It hurts when you see it coming. Never use your words to show you. Come. Come.